Hey there, Fletcher Mall Things Overlanding here, and today I'm going to be talking about my top three things that I love about my 2023 Nissan Frontier Pro 4X. So whether you have this truck already and you're just curious what I like about it, or if you are looking to buy a truck like this, one of the new third gen Frontiers, the D41 Nissan Frontiers, there'll be some good information in this video for you, and I hope that it's helpful. Of course, before we get into the video, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, make sure to click that subscribe button down below, click the bell to be notified when new videos drop, because I do a ton of third gen Frontier content, as well as general overland stuff and a bunch of gear stuff. So if you're into camping, overlanding, dispersed camping, anything like that, the outdoors in general, or especially third gen Nissan Frontiers, this is the channel for you and I'd love to have you as a subscriber. So let's get into the video talking about my top three things that I love about my 2023 Nissan Frontier. All right, guys, so as I mentioned in the intro today, I'm going to be talking about the top three things that I love about my Nissan Frontier. Uh, 2023 is the year, and it's a Pro 4X model, so I wanted to share those things with you today. So let's get into that as I walk around the truck here. So first of all, I love the redesign of this truck. I'm just a big fan of what they've done. Again, it is built off of basically the frame and a lot of similar stuff that the second gen had, but I mean, the way that they redid these taillights with LEDs, especially on the Pro 4X, you get some nice upgrades. And some people in the comments on some of my other videos have said, I would never get the Pro 4X. It just gives you a locker. And in some regards, that's true. That's the biggest mechanical change uh, on the third gen, but you also get some really nice stuff. Like again, LED tail lights, that may be standard on the SVs too. I'm not 100% sure, but you definitely get halogen lights on the SVs and lower trims. Whereas on the Pro 4X, you get the LED and the LED fog lights too, which are way brighter than the old ones and perfectly usable. So that you don't feel like you have to immediately upgrade everything in your lighting um, because of those. In addition to that, you get, you know, Pro 4X stickers, which who cares about that? You do get unique uh, wheels. So if you are a fan of those wheels, those are nice. They've changed those a little bit to 2025. You also get these orange accents, which some people like and some people hate. I personally think it looks really nice. You get the Pro 4X stitching in the seats and the orange stitching. I have the heated cloth seats and the heated steering wheel, which I love. Like that's seriously, I camp a ton in the fall and the winter. So being able to just hop in the truck and turn on the heated steering wheel and turn on the heated seats and having cloth, because I have heard some problems problems with the leather kind of cracking on the sides. So a lot of people that have the leather uh, have some cracking issues, unfortunately, on the sides. But uh, on the cloth, I don't have any sort of wear or anything abnormal so far with about 23,000 miles. Uh, you also get, I have the illuminated kick plates here. Again, not a huge game changer or anything, but it's a nice touch. I like the orange stuff. I like the Fender Audio, which you can get on other trims too. It is an additional charge, but I do like that. But Again, this third gen is just, the redesign is so nice. Like this interior, if you've seen a second gen Frontier before, you know that this is light years above what it used to be. It's so much nicer place to be. I drive eight to 12 hours on most of my trips to get to somewhere, Wisconsin, Michigan, Virginia, West Virginia, Kentucky, you know, somewhere in that ballpark, I'm driving anywhere from four to five, upwards of 10 to 12, 14 hours. Uh, and the longest I've been is to Wyoming, which is about 20, 21 hours away. So, being in a spot that has really comfortable seats, has heated seats, has some nice controls, a big touchscreen car play, like the upgrades to this truck over the second gen are just phenomenal. And again, the redesign, the fact that they, they took the time to really make this thing different and make it unique. And I think make it a real contender for the other mid-sized trucks out there from a looks perspective and from a performance perspective is huge. So another thing that I really like about these trucks is I actually like that Nissan uh, actually just carried over a ton of stuff. So basically the frame on this truck, the third gen, is very much the same, if not identical, to like the 2020 and 2021 trucks. So that gives you a lot of advantages. It gives you the ability to transfer stuff over, and I really like that. For example, my bed rack back there is technically made for a second gen, but the beds on these things are exactly the same. Uh, I've heard the same about sliders. I've heard the same about armor and things like that. So you can actually just reuse second gen parts on the third gen in a lot of cases. Now, obviously the front bumper is a little bit different. So I have the Z1 bumper. And before you ask, yes, I made my bumper cut too high. I'm living with it. It's not that bad. It's even, it looks okay. It's just not as low as it's supposed to be. I know. 
before you run to the comments. I'm aware. But anyways, uh, that bumper is, is amazing. I love the Z1 bumper. I love the look of it. I love the aggressiveness of it. And that is made for a third gen. So obviously the front, the fascia on the front here is different. So you do need to uh, look at third gen stuff for things like bumpers, uh, that sort of thing. But for the most part, a lot of things carry over. Wheel lug pattern is the same. So that's nice. It basically reacts the same to lifts and things like that. So getting 33s, you need about a one and a half to two inch lift, maybe a little bit of cutting and or fender melting, and you can fit 33. So again, a lot of the things carry over from second gens. And then the third thing that I like about this truck, and I talk about this quite a bit, and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna show you here, but these seats, man, these seats, again, for someone that drives a lot, if you are into overlanding and you have to travel quite a bit, or if you drive a lot for work, it doesn't necessarily have to be doing the camping thing or the overlanding thing like I do. If you're just into having a really comfortable seat, these zero gravity seats that they've installed in these things are absolutely phenomenal. Like my second gen was pretty comfortable, but you'd get some fatigue and stuff after a while. These seats though are so comfortable that I can spend hours and hours in them. I mean, I've driven this thing for 10, 12 hours a day straight with maybe one or two stops for gas and I don't get tired. It's really comfortable. It's a really nice place to be. They look great and they are just really, really comfortable. I've had a bunch of passengers in here too and they're like, man, these seats are so comfortable and nice, right? So again, just the upgrade to the seats, it seems like a silly small thing, but I'm telling you, if you have a second gen and you're not thinking of upgrading to a third gen, uh, the folks at All Dogs, I know I saw that they did it on an Xterra. You can swap these seats into a second gen. So if you want to do that, if you your old seats are worn out, if you've got the, you know, sort of typical tearing on the sides here that a lot of the second gens have, if you can find a set of these seats, I would highly recommend them. If you're going to keep your truck for a long time and you really want to upgrade your second gen, find a way to swap in these third gen seats because they are a game changer and really make it super comfortable and nice to be in the truck. All right, guys, so as you saw, those are my top three. Now, there are probably a million that I could name that I like. There's also probably some things that I don't like. And I'm gonna be doing a follow-up video to this called Three Things I Hate About My Nissan Frontier. So that will be coming soon. So make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of that third-gen Frontier content. But thanks so much for watching. And of course, in the description down below will be links to all of my other social channels. So wherever you wanna come hang out, follow along, uh, you're welcome to do so through the links below, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, LinkedIn. Wherever you wanna interact with all things overlanding, I'm there. Also below this video is a join button, and that's just kind of a passive way to support the channel, which also gets you early access to the videos and some other perks. So if you're just looking for a way to get early access to the videos and the podcasts that I do, that's an easy, cheap way to do it. If you want a more active way to interact with the channel, there is a Patreon link in the description below. That's a more active way. We've got a 24-7 Discord. We do a once a month Zoom call, and we're doing one or two trips a year to try and get together in person. So it's a ton of fun. Also in the description below is a link to my website where I've got funny overlanding camping themed patches, things like Don't Burn Your Wiener and It's a Hot Dog, or All Things Overlanding merch, uh, the logo and a patch or a sticker. So if you're looking for any of that stuff, definitely check that link out. And then last but not least, there is a link to the Newbie Overlanders Facebook group. This is a totally free group to join. Tons of awesome members, over 20,000 at the time that I'm recording this. And uh, it's just a great place to be, way better than the big groups, no bullying or anything like that. So if you're looking for a place to ask questions and learn and or help younger folks that are getting into overlanding, that may be a good place for you and we'd love to have you. But again, thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.